Johan and I'm from 6B. <laughs> deep, deep, deep in the sea live a lovely place where fishes can stay. But there is two problems. One is there are fishermen and two black fishes is always bullied because they're on because they're the only one. <laughs> fish named Little John, the fishermen catch all the rat fish and bring them away. The rat fishes shouted, help! And the black fish, and Little John said this, don't worry, Little John is here. Little John chase and chase and chase the rat fishes, and the rat fishes keep on saying, help! Then, the, the boat stopped and also the red fishes and also Little John. Little John thinks for an idea and he thinks and thinks and thinks. <coughs> then he found, he drink the water and spit it to the fishermen. The fishermen trip and <coughs> let all the red fishes free. The fishermen shouted, no! And the red fishes shouted, yes! <laughs> And little John became friends, but the red fish must say sorry to little John for bullying him. When the red fishes say sorry to little John, they became friends and live happily ever after. <laughs> Thank you. 
Please ask whether you can okay and present to the board of them. Miki and Mimi went to apologize, even though we need to be Still, the envy that the king at the time he is so lost. What are you doing? We came here to apologize. We have learned our lesson. Get out, Charles. And Miranda is interested, interested in the conversation. Okay, you forgive me. Why did you have mercy on me? It's good to forgive. They have done their lesson to it. Okay, excuse me. From grade 6A. Today I'm going to tell you about Rosie's terrible walk. Rosie went for a walk in the morning. He felt some, someone is following him. Rosie said, I think someone is following me. It's a bear. I'm hungry, the bear said, staring at Rosie's side. So Rosie ran into the barn. The bear followed Rosie. The bear heard something and said the barn. The bear went closer, closer and closer. Ah! The bear yelled. <laughs> then the bear went up the barn. Rosie ran into the field. The bear saw Rosie running on the field. The bear followed Rosie and they ran and they ran and they ran. Rosie went into the wheat plantation. And Rosie hiked. The bear sat in a confused condition. Where is that little where is that little chicken? The bear said. Then Rosie went into the log house. The bear followed Rosie. The bear went in, but there was nothing inside. So the bear opened the door. And the bear saw Rosie. Rosie yelled. And the bear yelled "ar" with a with a smile. Then Rosie ran as fast as he could, <laughs> so the bear couldn't find Ros him. And Rosie went home. Rosie said, "Next time, I should invite someone to my walk." Then the bear didn't uh, couldn't find Rosie, and he was stuck, and he died. Yeah. <laughs> So Rosie lived happily and looked at the sunset to wait to and then sleep to wait for the next day to come. The end. Thank you. My name is Dick and I'm going to tell you a story about the extraordinary act. So I'm going to tell you the characters first. Firstly, this is the bird, this is the chicken. This is the this is August, Merlin, and Jessica, and this is the egg. On Turtle Island lived three frogs: August, Merlin, and Jessica. Jessica was full of wonder. She loved to explore. One day, she went into the Funnel Monument and saw something that stood from her. It was as white as the sky, as shiny as the star. It's perfect! She shouted. I wonder what Mer Merlin and August will say when they see this. Jessica said. A huge paddle. That's not a paddle. It's a chicken egg. How do you know it's a chicken egg? There's something that you just don't know. <laughs> days later, days later, the egg cracked and the chick and something went out from it. See, I was right. It's a chicken. A chicken. They all shouted. Where's the water? Water, water, where's the water? Straight ahead, they all shouted. The chicken dove itself into the water. 
the two frogs went When Jessica was away, Merlin and August saw something in the water. This Merlin said, Someone is in trouble. So the chicken went into the water. Moment moment later, the chicken went up with Jessica. I was stuck in the weed, but the chicken saved me. From that moment, from that moment, Jessica and the chicken were great friends. Wherever Jessica went, the chicken went too. One day, they went somewhere where they never been before, and they met a bird. Here you are. Your mother is looking all over for you. Let me bring her. Let me bring you to her. After that, they saw something extraordinary. Mother, mother. Come here, my little seed alligator. Now it's time for me to go. Visit us next time and bring your mother with you. Jessica went back to the to Petal Island and she told Merlin and August the, the mother chicken said, Come here, my little sweet alligator. Uh, alligator! They all shouted. <laughs> the end. Thank you. My name is Ivan and I'm, on, I'm from Sisi. And I'm going to tell you the story about the greedy mouse. Let me introduce the character first. This is Mr. Whisper, this is Mr. Mouse, this is Mr. Thoughts, and this is Mr. Crocodile. <coughs> One day in the village of Strawberry, there were two mouse. They were siblings. Mr. Whisper and Mr. Mice always played together every day. But one, but one day, Mr. Whisker became He doesn't want to share his food, either his toys. And Mr. Mice just went to his room and sleep again. Day by day, week by week, month by month, Mr. Whisker started being greedy to his friend. Mr. Thoughts asked, Could I have your food, Mr. Whisker? Mr. Whisker replied, No, this is all my food. Mine. He doesn't want to share or neither play his toys with Mr. Crocodile. He said, This is all mine. My toys, my food. I'm not going to share it with you forever. So, Mr. Mice, Mr. Thoughts, and Mr. Crocodile sit together and discuss. Why did, why all of a sudden Mr. Whiskers become, become greedy? Mr. Todd said, maybe we should teach him, we should teach him a lesson. Mr. Mice did this, and Mr. Crocodile did. So, they, they started not playing with Mr. Whiskers again. Mr. Whiskers asked, why can't I play with you guys? They replied, you need to realize it yourself. So, Jay. The next day, they were eating the strawberry together. Mr. Whiskers asked, Could I have some? They all replied, No! Why? Because you were greedy to us. You should know that. Mr. Whiskers went home. Apologize, but then, 
Mr. Crocodile and Pot as maybe we should give him a chance. So Mr. Mice asked. So Mr. Mice said, okay. So they all become friends together again. The end. Having arrived in his house, the animal decided to play a game, but they don't know what to play. Mr. Moon said, and Mr. Cow said, uh, what, what do you want to play? Mm. And Mr. Chicken said, how about we play hide and seek? And the, Mr. Cow said, okay, let's play hide and seek. Without them noticing, there is a fox stalking them. In the night, when Farmer Jack was sleeping, he heard a noise from his barn. The noise was like, Then he asked himself, What was that sound? His curiosity grew more, and he decided to go to his barn. When he went to his barn, he realized that his little chicken was gone. And when he tried to find his little chicken, he only saw the footsteps of a fox. The next day, Farmer Jack decided to The next day, Farmer Jack decided to put a dog to guard them. Then they played. In the night again, he heard a noise from the barn. The sound was like Then Farmer Jack directly went to his barn. He saw his dog lying there. He, and he also realized that his horse was gone. The only thing that he saw is the, foot, is the footsteps on the fox. Farmer Jack's anger went to his, uh, to his limit. Then, the next, the next night, he decided to guard the barn by himself with a stick in his, in his arm. To guard himself. Then, he saw something moving. He directly hit it. <laughs> then, he realized that it was the fox. The fox, last word, it, the, the fox is, was dying. Then, the last word of the fox is, Sorry sir, that I was killing your animals. I was killing them because I need to feed my family to them. Just help me to tell them I was you. Then, the fox, is, the fox died. The Tom Jack thought sorry to him. Then he decided to feed the fox's family forever. Then they live happily ever. Once upon a 
Once upon a time, there was a rat named Jane. She was given a cookie for her birthday. The cookie was big and delicious. She could not, she could not finish it in a day. Her friend, Crocky, who wasn't given anything for her, his birthday, wanted to steal the cookie. He made a plan. We could, I could steal her cookie while she was sleeping. Meanwhile, when Jane was sleeping, Crocky sneaked in her room. He took the cookie. Jane felt something was falling and she woke up. What is that? She shouted and she saw Crocky and she chased him. Instead of chasing him, she got a brilliant idea. She called her father. Daddy, Crocky stole my cookie. Her dad was forced to Crocky stole my cookie. Jane's dad went in Crocky's room. He did not see anything. I did not steal anything, sir. Okay. Jane's dad was disappointed and he walked away. So does Crocky. And Jane lived sadly ever after. Thank you. It's nothing, said the man with hat. Then, three snowflakes. It's snowing, said the man, said the dog with boy. It will melt, said the woman. A few snowflakes float down and melt. Some snowflakes keep coming and coming and coming. No snow, said, said salvation. Snowflakes do much salvation. Dancing, playing there and there. Floating, floating everywhere. Falling, falling in the air. The, the, the building is white. The city is white. No, said the boy. That's called Sky. He likes to play alone in the hot, dry sand. The next day, he met a fly called May. He, they become friends and they play all day long. Then the next day, Sky heard that May was sick, so he go to the forest to find a medicine. He found a magical leaf and bring it back to May. He filled the magical leaf with water and let May drink it. The next day, May was awake. He was healthy and fit, so they, they played all day long and had a fun time. Thank you.
In the middle of the forest, he made a big frog. He asked the frog, What are you doing, frog? The frog was as if he had a snake. He had come. The caterpillars went away. He heard a loud sound. It was a rabbit. The rabbit was hip, hop, and flop their feet. In the night of the adventure, he made a bed. The bed was too bright and blue in the sky. The caterpillars have, have a great adventure. They make many animals. And it's already night. The star of bread. Good night. Oh, God bless. Thank you.
The cricket and said he was ugly. Then the organ said, I see a beautiful cricket and an ugly spider. The cricket then asked himself, Am I really that beautiful? And he played a sweet tune. He, a butterfly flew down and said he wished he was a cricket. Once upon a time, there was a man named Jerry who had three friends. They liked to talk about ideas and play in the park. One day, there was a man named Lucky. However, he seemed bored and unhappy. Can it? They tried to think of ideas to find a way to make them happy. They suggested they should take them to a very new park. They tried very many new things there, like playing with rocks, playing trees, canoeing, and other stuff. And then they had a very fun time until the sun went down. You say the end. The end.